Alright, alright, Gimpy. This is contest is for you. I have dug for three days through some boxes upstairs. And you gotta know I love you. You should know I love you by now because I dug through boxes for three days. And what's sad is the last day was me trying to find one book for your contest that I know I bought in the last two months and I can't find it in the OCD hit. So, you know, I actually had to go out tonight and uh, watch a band which was actually really good. It was like Led Zeppelin meets Black Crows. I was amazed. And then I went and watched some wrestling. As soon as I walked into the to the to the gymnasium where they're having the wrestling, I was part of the show because you know eight wrestlers that were like you know four on this side and four on this side. I was right in the middle. I put pictures on my Facebook. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I just got here, and uh, you know, and and so I came home and. It's one in the morning, so I figure I'm not looking for that Valor book anymore. So this is for you. And 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 go check out Gimpy. Um, I have loved that guy's videos from the first one he put up because the first couple we put up, I was like, "What the hell's going on? What, what's going on here?" There was vodka, and there was a cat, and there was a kitchen, and there was comic books, and I was just like. Wow, you know, <laughs> you know, I was like, this is great. All right, so for his 300 sub contest, he wants you to show a uh, something, you know, a, a run of books you've completed, and then he wants to have you say something you're trying to complete, and then he wants you to show a bunch of roofie covers, which cracks me up because after he explained in his video what a roofie cover was, was I, I started looking at some of my comics completely different, you know. So he got me, he got me, okay. So for the first one, this this drove me nuts trying to get this one together. I completed my Captain Carrot and the Amazing Zoo Crew. I'm very proud of that. Very proud of that. Okay. And the ones that, there's 20 issues of it, plus I have their first appearance in the Teen Titans. But believe it or not, the two hardest ones to get were number seven, where we have Balzar, the Barbarian, the Barkbarian. You know, he's a dog. For some reason, this is a popular issue in the Captain Carrot and the Amazing Zoo Crew, even though this is from the early 80s and stuff. Okay, and the other one that was a real pain to find, because I kept buying the wrong issue, thinking that was it, was uh, I bought it issue two two copies of number 14 with the just a lot of animals meets the Zoo Crew, you know, with and they you know everybody got turned into an animal. But it was number 15, and this one still beat all this crap, but it'll do, you know. So that was a hard one to get. Very happy to get those. And then the series I'm trying to complete, and it's driving me nuts because uh, I've never seen the two books I need out in the wild. I just need two more books to complete this. I have the guest appearances. I have the little places where they popped, you know, where he popped up in Swamp Thing. I've got the little one panel things where he was. But it's Neil Gaiman's Sandman. I need issue 12, and I need issue 45. And I ended up buying all kinds of books in the 40s all around it because I have never run across number 45, and I've never ran across number 12. So I'm swallowing my pride. My birthday was about two weeks ago. So if there's, seriously, if there's anybody out there that has issue 12 and 45 of Sandman and they want to give to the Howler Mouse birthday you know, collection, feel free. Contact me. It's awesome. Okay, that's good. And now on to the roofie covers so I dug through and there's freaking one one I can't find it's driving me nuts you know so here we go so anyway here's the roofie cover that he's talking about I never looked at this the same before this is Crow City of Angels the, the adaption of the movie from the 90 from like 96 or something there's number three this is a sad roofie you know he's walking in all sad with the girl she's been roofied and everybody there around is also sad just just such a sad book. The crow is the crow is so sad and vengeful. And then I started noticing that when guys get roofy by another guy, they just don't hold them and cradle them. They have to raise them high. And I think I have a couple here that might be a little bit out of order, but you know, there's Savannah, you know, with a roofy Captain Marvel high over his head, and Superman's coming in. And it's kind of funny because you want to see these books. I started seeing a pattern. So when somebody's roofied, Superman just always happens to be there. And the person who gets roofied the most is Supergirl. Okay, I'm not buying it. I'm calling bullcrap on her. I'm calling bullcrap on her. All right. And again, 
when a man has roofied another man, it's high above his head, you know, so there you go, there you go, Un unbelievable, all right, but then you got Marvel, Marvel has to make it cosmic, they just don't roofie somebody, you know, normally in the streets, they go cosmic with it, or they go, you know, dimensional or something like that, man, like, you know, Silver Surfer's just been busted with a roofied uh, Nova. I mean, those, I'm picturing she's popped up because, you know, Galactus is mad. And when Galactus is mad, that'll wake anybody up. You know, like waving a skunk tail under their nose. You know? And then it's always like, you know, great big blue giants that just have to roof you and drag you away, you know, with Thor. And, of course, you know, during Inferno, man, you know, roofing can go wrong, can go bad, man. It's got to be a silver mutant carrying a half-demon queen sister named magic you know unbelievable unbelievable right but the one i'm most proud of is that this red-headed chick has not roofied half the marvel universe mostly the fantastic four and she is stood she is standing on top of them that is just awesome you know and the guardians of the galaxy look at that she's took them all down all down she's sitting there looking like oops what have i done you know and then like i said it's got to be epic you know so so dramatic all the drama you know dropping the hammer and it's so sad you know he's been roofied all right and then this is the one that cracked me up man this is the one this is when you dream big when you dream big you know and you just have to roof a giant and you're dragging them away you know to wherever you want to see you know, it's like a freaking you know jaguar getting a gazelle or a whatever they eat and pulling it up in the tree you know and then it really bothered me, man, because going back to the 40s and 50s, man, you know, apparently they had a technique of roofing way back then, you know, you know, the poor spirit. And then there seems to be a theme also that every now and then you end up roofing yourself. I don't know what it is. There's like three of these in here, I think, man. But, you know, the spirit ended up roofing himself, you know, running away with himself. So he either roofied himself or he's saving himself from where he got roofied, you know. So, you know, yeah, wrap your head around that and, you know, stay fashionable, you know saving yourself and again here's Superman he just happens to be there when Batman gets uh, you know roofied by an alien a one-eyed alien you know that's just you know you know that's I hate it when that happens walking down the street and the alien gets you and again when a man roofies you man he's, he won't cradle you he's got to hold you high and be proud of it you know see and this is what I'm saying you know you get cradled if it's not a man that has roofied you or if you're not a man who's been roofied by a man. There you go. And like I said, Superman is just always there. You know, he's always there when somebody gets roofied. I mean, there's a ton of these. A ton of these. But before we, we get there, man, sometimes roofing goes wrong. It just, it just does. You know, let me get all these straight here, okay? But uh, there's Superman again roofing somebody. You know, he's got Lois there. But that's okay, man, because times change. You know, almost 40 years later, you know, all the everything changed. The girl, you know, roofied the man. Or is it this Sean Connery looking man here roofing people and making people sad? You know, we'll never really know. We'll never really know. All right. And, of course, there's times roofing goes wrong, man, okay? Like, you go too far, and, and they die, you know. Get up, you're not dead, you know. It just goes horribly wrong, you know. You know, and again, Marvel has to go epic, man. It, it's a alien, you know. It's a, you know, this is a cybernetic alien, you know. Their, their whole race is based on circuitry or something, you know. I can't remember. It's one in the morning. I, I don't remember the words, you know, and they die. And this one is like a two for one, man. He roofied himself till he died. He didn't get to save himself. So, you know, wrap that your head around that, you know. And like I said, they go horribly, horribly wrong, man. Sometimes you just roof you for so long, you're nothing but, you know, a skeleton lift. You know, they drag you for so long around. And like again, look at this. There it is again. Superman just happens to be there, you know, with a roofied Batman, you know, who also has roofied, been roofied to death. He's nothing but, you know skeleton and a husk in a costume you know Superman's dangerous then we get to Supergirl look how she's been roofied back in the 70s she got roofied and there's Superman Superman just happens to be there you know and it seems like you know this was the most you know 
copycat roofied ever. Apparently, whoever roofied Supergirl on there had it just right because people started doing it. It was so perfect they started roofing themselves, you know. And she gets really mad because I'm convinced what she does is that A, she either needs an excuse to let her slutty side come out, or B, she likes to cause chaos by playing the victim and making somebody else going on then. And she gets really mad when people rip her off, you know, like they steal her technique. She can even stand when she's not getting the attention and she's saving her roofy self. She gets really mad when people, you know, steal her, her trick and stuff. But she sets, and this is what convinced me of it, that I'm just not buying it. There's Superman with her, right? He gets busted and in trouble by her dad, beats the crap out of him, and he gets punished. It tells a story. It tells a story. Alright? And then it all just goes wrong. You get roofied and your head pops off. I hate it when that happens. Alright? So there you go, Gimpy. Congratulations. You know, for the th you know for all the subs and keep it going and I'm enjoying your stuff and yeah, it was fun. I appreciate it, man. Now you can come over and help me put all these back in the boxes where they need to go. You know, or maybe the shell. Okay, all right. Thank you, man. And, and bring a shot when you come to do that.